folks. We're out here today on our place. Um, this is the unused portion of our property. It's, it's in the back here behind our house, the front side of our house. We've redone all the fences. Um, as you can see over here, we've been tearing out uh, welded wire. It's two before welded wire, which was what was on the property when we got here. And today we're putting up some temporary fence and we're gonna try and run a three strand um, temporary fence for our horses. This lot here has got quite a bit of grass, and we're gonna we're gonna take and, and get them turned in here temporarily. This fence probably won't be up for more than uh, a year or two. It's really hot out here today. Uh, we're sweating away. Maybe a year. Um, we're doing some excavating work, pushing some dirt around out here with um, uh, bobcats and backhoes and that sort of thing. So, what what we're gonna show you here today. Is for a temporary fence for something that's you know a year or two years you don't want to build a big corner i'm going to eventually put a uh, fence all the way to the back back of our corner you can see now it's all grown up and we just want this in here to keep the horses in so they can have access to the grass back here so what i do is this is an inch and three quarter timeless fence post we we have these available for sale uh, if anybody would like to contact us um, these are a non-conductive post, so they're real good for electric temporary fencing, uh, permanent fencing. We have them all over our place. And instead of building an expensive corner or even an elaborate corner, and we've got several corner configurations to choose from, I'm just going to take and put this post at about in this corner. We're, we're coming down this fence row going down this fence row or making a new fence row and I'm gonna put this post in at an angle and I'm gonna drive it down about 16 inches and I've driven it at an angle and when we string our electric rope we're using an electric poly rope when we string it around, we're going to pull this post up straight and it's going to act as a tensioning uh, mechanism on our fence and it holds our corners up. We do this quite often in temporary pins and temporary fences. So we're going to go around our boundaries. We've cut down some weeds here. We're going to go around our boundaries putting these corners in at an angle, our inch and three quarter post, at an angle as we go around. So here in East Tennessee, this grew up with just in just a few uh, weeks. It really didn't take it long to grow up and, and get overgrown with weeds. Weeds grow pretty quick. Um, we had horses in here before, and we had a temporary uh, panel fence up, cattle panels uh, or corral panels. We took those down, and now we're going to be using our poly rope. Um, and it doesn't take long for it to for it to take and grow up. So we just kind of knocked it down with uh, with just some hand tools, shovel machete that sort of thing just to get our our basic outline the horses will pretty much do the rest our horses they they stay in anyway uh they'll stay in it if it's hot or if it's not hot but we are going to electrify two of these strands so we're going to put this post in at an angle going to drive it about 16 inches So this is where we're going to turn and we're going to go back the other way so our, our corner is going to be the other way so we don't want to put it like this we want it to be into our corner and i'm running it so that it bends back against the, our flat every one of these you can see the bend is back against flat i could run it like this but when i'm turning an inside corner i prefer to turn it like like so and i'm just going to I'm running about a 15 to 20 degree angle. May have hit a rock. I'll just change my position. Go again. Here we are with another corner, and we're doing a, an inside turn again, hitting some roots. Trying to find a good place to drive this post in. 
A lot of people ask, what do you drive a timeless post with? You can drive it with a hammer. You can drive it with a regular driver. Um, you can take a look at this. I've been beating on this here. The post is not even phased. So you can drive it with about anything. There's a marker down here on the post and I've come up against a solid rock. There's a marker and that's what I've been looking at down here every time I look at the post. They put a tag on the post at the factory and it marks where 16 inches of depth is at. As you can see this one didn't go down all the way. We like to drive it to the marker that's 16 inches or should be. So that's where we like to drive it to. driving these in about eight inches um, for these temporary posts you don't need any more than that its basic job is just to hold up the uh, the rope and uh, once we run the rope if there's one a little higher we can drive it down a little farther but um, it's only going to be holding three strands of poly rope What we're trying to do right now is get a measurement for our temporary gate. And what we're going to be using here is our inch and three quarter end fence. Um, it's probably going to be somewhere about right there. I really love this gate. It stretches. So we're going to install a, a inch and three quarter uh, termination fence here now drop these down I drop this down to about 42 inches um, and of course got everything pre-measured here and I want to be about in the fourth hole at about a 45 and what I want to do is I want to be right on that line and I want to be right about on that fourth hole so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive that in about my fourth hole up and we've got another video that we'll put in the in the description and in the link that shows you how to make these uh, corners we call them a small livestock inexpensive corner uh, We've got a full video on how to on how to build these.